Hello everyone, I am Aishwara Johnson and today we are going to talk about Indian diasporic literature and explore it to the fullest. Now before we talk about Indian diasporic literature, we are going to talk about literature in India. Now India is known for its diversity and so the term diversity reflects in the writing too. There is diversity in the form such as there is short stories, poetry, essays, stories, novels, etc. And it is also diverse in languages. Now, people write in different languages in India. And with the languages comes their culture and traditions. And they write about a little of themselves in each of their writings. And so it makes the writing in India quite diverse. Now, when we talk about Indian uh, diasporic writing, we first need to understand the term diaspora. Now, what is diaspora? Diaspora is when a group of people feel the commonality or belongingness because they share something common among themselves. And now what is Indian diasporic literature? Now in Indian diasporic literature, there are almost, you can divide them among in two categories. First is post-migration and second is voluntary migration. Post-migration is when some people are forced to move out of the country in, and settle into some other country and that is when these people who are forced to move out of our country feel the need to write, write and express their feelings. Now, what is voluntary migration? Voluntary migration is when they, they themselves voluntarily move out of the country and decide to write about India or the country where they had lived in. That is the native land. Now, the, two, the basic difference between these two is that forced laborers usually write about the the feeling of missing or when they miss their country, nostalgia, that is what they basically write about their native country. When we talk about voluntary uh, migration, people write about systems that uh, exist in India, just like the caste system, the exploitation of women, etc. And the list keeps going on. Now in this article, I've written about some of the values of certain uh, things that are really themes that are really important in diasporic writing. For example, dislocation, uh, feeling of uh, loss of homeland, then uh, there's also displacement and there is the feeling of alienation, the feeling of not able to understand being themselves, the, feel, the feeling of not able, that is uh, self-discovery or losing the, their way to understand themselves. Now in now, the famous Indian diasporic writers are uh, Salman Rushdie and V.S. Naipaul. They are known as the world citizens. They, in their writings, have mentioned about such themes. And uh, to be more specific, uh, when you talk about belongingness, this theme is the most central in uh, Indian diasporic writings. People, in their writings, mention of, how, of what they were and now what they have become of. And this is something to be thought of. Indian diasporic writing is beautiful because it basically deals with experiences individuals go through. And to know more about this, please do log into indianfolk.com for more such articles. Thank you so much.